Uh, thank you, Madam Chair and Ranking Member McHenry for holding this uh, very informative uh, hearing. Uh, for many of us, Facebook is a reality in our business and our personal lives. Uh, I communicate with my constituents as well as my friends uh, through the platform daily. Uh, many benefits accrue from the service, uh, yet in the midst of these great benefits, uh, great challenges uh, have emerged, and, and I want to welcome you uh, to this hearing. Uh, Mr. Zuckerberg, I believe Facebook is a great innovation that has much potential for good, that we welcomed uh, an innovation together with the controversies that it spawned. Unfortunately, some in politics and the media see their role as cajoling Facebook to censor its users' speech. Uh, in April, I wrote you that I was disappointed that Facebook would consider restricting free speech rights that communicate the risk associated with vaccinations. Uh, mm -hmm. I support vaccinations of children and adults, but I also support open and frank communication of the risk of vaccination. Every person should make vaccination decisions with full information. In recognition of the uncertainties, the risk of vaccinations, the federal government has created a vaccination trust fund that has paid out over four billion dollars to compensate those who have been injured by vaccinations. There is no more clear or persuasive <laughs> statement that the risk associated with vaccinations uh, than the existence and the payment record of that fund. Uh, from time to time, medical research has established case and context of specific risks associated with vaccinations. I wrote to you when another member of the House made claims that the risk of vaccination should not exist and that Facebook should police communications related to the vaccination risk. Uh, today you testified uh, you believe in giving people a voice. And uh, Mr. Zuckerberg, is Facebook able to assure us that it will support users fair and open discussions and communications related to the risk as well as the benefits of vaccinations? Uh, Congressman, thanks for the, the question. Uh, we do care deeply about giving people a voice and, and freedom of expression. Those are some of the founding values of, of the company. Uh, at the same time, we also hear consistently from our community that people want us uh, to stop the spread of misinformation. So what we do is uh, we, we try to focus on, on misinformation that has the potential to lead to uh, physical harm or imminent harm. Um, and that can include especially misleading health advice. There was a, a hoax that was going viral a number of months back that Let, let's was kind saying- Let's stick to this subject because our time is very limited. Are you 100% confident that, that vaccines pose no injury to any person on this planet? Congressman, I don't think it would be possible for anyone to be 100% confident, but my understanding of the scientific consensus is that uh, it, it is important that, that, that people get their vaccines. I, but it, you, you said your, your platform, you want to, uh, you believe in giving people a voice. Doesn't somebody, shouldn't somebody have the opportunity to express an opinion different from yours? I mean, over $4 billion has been paid out by the fund. Over four thousands of people. Don't you think people should be able to have information to make an, an informed choice? Congressman, I do. And that's why we don't stop people from posting on their page uh, something that's wrong. But if someone wants to post vaccine, uh, anti-vaccination content, or if they want to join a group where people are discussing that content, uh, we don't prevent them from doing that. But what we do is we, we don't go out of our way to make sure that our group recommendation systems try to show people or encourage people to join those groups. Okay. Uh, we, we, uh, we discourage that. Okay, well, how do you discourage it? Uh, well, there are a number of different tactics. For example, if someone is typing in uh, into the search results, uh, into the search box, something that, that might lead to anti-vax content. Um, we don't recommend anti-vax searches to them. If, they, if you type in the name of a group exactly, you can, you can get the group. Uh, we're not gonna hide it, we're not gonna prevent you from joining it. Uh, but, but we're not gonna recommend or go out of our way to, to show people content that would encourage people to join those groups. But well, people can share that content Many of the they people you know, harmed by this policy are in fact parents with disabled children and, and I don't think we or you should be so quick to turn our backs on them. Uh, if you look at the statistics, I, I think you're, you're, you're making a, a 
bad mistake. I, time has expired. I yield back. Thank you.